Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Leela Aiki makes shocking confession, and your wholeness declares state of emergency. Damien Crawford weighs in on the crime plan. Tanya Stevens reacts to Leela Ike's confession. Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. <laughs> Man busy on the outside, outside. We busy on the outside. Mm. Outside, outside. Make money on the outside. Mm. Man can't stay in a bed, much less be stay in a yard. Strictly money making yard and broad. One girl family, we moving hard. Why buy live with all these things, them child? This one is called Outside by Jamodel, the Jamaican British boy from East London, featuring Mac Ferrari. One thing I can say, them sit down pan rhythm, and the rhythm itself, it's upbeat. Plus, it puts you in a vibe. The duo complements each other. That keeps the song interesting. Jamodel has a new mixtape coming out called This Is New Ham. And he also has a movie on YouTube. So guys, you can check out those projects. Shout out going out to one golf entertainment the montego bay hanover and trelawney massive outside is available on all digital platforms or you can just click the link in the description box below to listen to the song check him out on instagram at jamodel underscore morris make him no say a moto masiseno lila aiki is currently trending number one on twitter the reason she's trending massive is gonna come to a shock to many of us I'm going to read a series of her tweets. She started with, I love Jamaica. I do my work, the experience, the intervention, more life. So what if I'm into women? My music isn't real. Expose all you want. Men have done nothing but break me and my mom and my grandmother. I've been raped, molested. Mama, your son wanted. I am Leela Ike and I'm into women and I've been making reggae music. And they tried to kill me. That never worked. And now they're literally trying to stop me on the road. If pictures are released, I said it here. Then she retweeted a tweet from Jesse Royal. You're covered in a real life, sis. Love you, sis. She moved on. She tweeted another tweet. One world, one flag, one banner, one protege. Let's save music, people. I me and a little girl in a every one of my songs. Protege was and will always be the realest one. White heart. One proto, wave the white flag. The snake, I will get chopped. Zaya Priest, Love Alone. She even went live massive. I don't have the entire life for you guys. I'm just gonna play a piece of it that I found on the internet. Check this out. Yo, for the whole day, may I try to get everybody to see my life. Mm. For the whole day, reggae music can never dead. They want to expose what? You may have a picture with a girl? In print. Yeah. You may have a picture with a girl? You're not listening to the music when I'm gone in her bed. Over on Twitter, we see where Sparky said that Leela Aiki is safe at the moment. Boy, I must have did have any idea at all that Leela Aiki is into girls. Let me know in the comment section below. Tanya Stevens took to her Instagram massive to show her support and love for Leela Ike. Tanya Stevens posted, I stand with Leela Ike unconditionally. Then she captioned that, so should every woman who knows what what it is like to make your way through a patriarchal apocalypse that is every woman so should every mother so should every father so should every well-thinking human you don't have to lie with her to stand with her people grow the f up stop being so invested in others private lives that you weaponize their definitions against them so massive will you be supporting Leela Ike unconditionally let me know in the comment section below so the Prime Minister of Jamaica has declared yet another state of emergency this time it's more widespread it's in more parishes I'm going to play the video for you guys but before I do that let me read the caption on his Instagram page on the advice of the security forces I have recommended to the governor general that states of public emergency be declared Cleared in the St. James, Westmoreland, Hanover, Kingston Central, Kingston East, Kingston West, and the St. Andrew South Police Divisions. 
Here's the video. States of public emergencies were declared in the police divisions of St. James, West Ballon, and Hanover. Uh, these three are termed the tri-parish SOEs. And in the corporate area, the St. Andrew South Police Division, the Kingston West Police Division, the Kingston Central Police Division, and the Kingston East Police Division. All of these divisions have seen increases ranging from 16% to 57%. All have murder rates per 100,000 uh, in excess of the regional average, which is 15%. In fact, the murder rate per 100,000 in these divisions range from a low of approximately 47 per 100,000 to 190 per 100,000. We have decided to recommend the declaration of SOEs having regard to the increase in murders compared year on year, both in the communities in which we have declared them uh, and nationally. Uh, and these increases we consider to be of an extensive scale such that they threaten public safety, uh, both in the communities in which the SOEs have been declared and nationally. But more than that, we have decided to declare the SOEs because of the nature and frequency of the violence surrounding the murders and other crimes. Uh, and I'm sure every Jamaican would have recognized uh, that the nature and frequency of the violence has devolved to a level of barbarity, a level of savagery. It is almost a competition for cruelty, the worst of the worst, and it appears to be designed, uh, properly calculated, to drive fear into the citizenry of the country and panic in communities. Uh, the government cannot remain uh, crippled. It cannot see these things happening and not take action. A lot of Jamaicans are of the opinion that these state of emergencies, Zozos, are directly breaching our constitutional rights. And some persons are saying that another crime plan should be implemented. The Prime Minister addressed the concerns about the constitutional rights. Here goes. And there's one element of the conversation which is always hidden in the public debate. What of the rights of the victims? Who speaks for the people who have been killed? What of their constitutional rights? Who defends those rights of the 1,300 or more Jamaicans that have been murdered in this country? Is that academic? Or so it would appear. My job as Prime Minister is to preserve and protect the rights of the citizens. Damien Crawford weighs in on the current state of emergency slash crime plan. Check this out. Um, so yeah, let me, let me tell you, the biggest problem is that they're fighting the wrong thing. They're fighting criminals and saying they're fighting crime. If you're fighting a criminal, the crime has already been Come done. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you keep fighting criminals, you're not fighting crime. To fight crime is to prevent the crime from happening. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I say? Right. So this thing with we do it more police, more prison, more this, more that is to fight the criminal. And yes, you have to fight the current criminals. But if you keep mapping the floor when the pipe is running, you'll never stop mapping the floor. Mm -hmm. You see me? I come right. So therefore, we have to now look and say, firstly, 
what are the characteristics of the persons who likely to be a criminal? Because if we give a murder, every murder to a different murderer, this year we're going to have maybe 1,000 murderers. Right mm-hmm. Meaning him only kill one man and then he kill nobody else. At most, you can have 1,100 murderers this year because 1,100 people get murdered. Mm-hmm. So if you really look on it, I know all of them, you know. If you really look in it, I may be one six hundred murderer this year or one four hundred murderer right now, compared to three million people. So when you check out the situation is how what is the characteristics? Them go to non-traditional school mainly. So we have to fix the non-traditional schools. Them don't have any double parent homes or them are mostly single mothers. So we have to start encourage double parent or give them greater access to male role models. Them not have nobody to help them when them 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 going to that path when them are crossover. So we have to move the guidance counselors from. Um, we have guidance counselors in a high school. They have one guidance counselor to every thousand people. You know? mm-hmm. That can't make no sense and can't have a real guidance. You understand where I come from? We have to start the community policing. We have to start get greater opportunities um, as it relates to earning potential. Uh, earning opportunities. So right now, if you want to take a loan to start agriculture, you, you, you can't get it. If you want to take out a loan to buy three cow, or you want to take out a loan to buy six goat, you can't get it. So a man possibly a thief or some goat instead of to start raising one and goat. So we are fighting the wrong thing. Now, if you're fighting the wrong thing, then you wonder how the thing is dead. You, you understand where right, I come from? Right, right. Me go out in the bush and start shoot up every lion and I wonder how the snake is dead. Right. You're fighting the wrong thing. If you don't fight snake, snake would have dead. So that's it for today, massive mountain. I beg up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the massive. I'm out of Massey. I'm gone. Mount of Massey. Mount of Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, now, now.